Yo, Elliot. Question from our buddy Shintech, right? Shintech is 19 years old. He has a deep curve in his lumbar back. So if, if you know what he's talking about, let me just give you a little demonstration. That means his lower back does this. Either it seems as if his butt is sticking out, or as he describes it, his belly seems to be protruding. His belly sticks out. At first he thought it was just his posture. Well, it is your posture, but we gotta get to the root of it. So I started doing stretches. It didn't help. I still have the deep curve. I'm considering going to a doctor because it looks like I'm pregnant with abs. Very interesting. So the stretches and exercises associated with it will help you to a degree. Now, this is where Elliot Hulse's four layers of strength come in, right? And we're gonna talk about layer one and layer two. Layer one, neuromuscularly, you're probably doing a lot of the right things. You're gonna to have to spend a lot of time stretching your hip flexors, your lumbar erectors, strengthening your upper hamstrings, and strengthening your deep abdominal wall. You know, namely your transversus abdominis and pelvis, pelvic floor. Those muscles are very different than your crunching muscle. Those are the muscles that stabilize the pelvis when you suck in, when you pull in. It gives your pelvis that it's gonna help your pelvis posteriorly tilt a little bit so that your butt tucks under a little bit and that belly doesn't look so protruding. So you're not a fat guy. Like you said, it looks like you're pregnant with abs, right? The thing is that all the musculature in this particular area, right, right here, all that musculature is, pro especially the deep abdominal wall. See, I, I, I need to make distinctions when I talk about the abdominals. Uh, and a lot of people, a lot of coaches, a lot of personal trainers, a lot of professionals don't understand that there are superficial abdominal muscles and those are the ones that most people train, right? It looks like you have abs, right? Well, really you mean it looks like you have rectus abdominis, which is the muscle on top, the big superficial muscle on top that gives you that bumpy look. But you also have a deep abdominal wall, a deep abdominal wall. You have the inner unit, which consists of your transversus abdominis, your pelvic floor, and some of the muscles of the internal obliques, right? So what we've got to do is we've got to turn on those deep abdominal walls that pull, that deep abdominal wall that pulls your belly in, right? It's, it creates like a corsetting effect. So the fact that you have abs Bumps on the outside is nice, but the fact that you look pregnant is an indication that your deep abdominal wall is not working. Now, that's the first layer of strength. That's the first consideration. That's usually the place we normally look, and it's the, it's the one that we can point to right away, and it's the one that we can get working on instantly, right? The second layer of strength, one layer deep, is your physiological strength. Ladies and gentlemen, your physical strength, your neuromuscular strength, the way you look here, your, particularly your posture, is a direct reflection, a manifestation of what's going on physiologically. It's always the case. You cannot hide physiological dysfunction. You might look sort of good, right? Like you said, I have abs, but I still look fucked up. You might look sort of good. You know these people. If you're, if you're in tune with your intuition, you look at somebody who looks good, and you know right away, physiologically, he or she is fucked. You could see a vital body, a vibrant, vital body right away. And sometimes, vibrant, vital bodies aren't the ones that look all hard and stiff and bumpy and, and bodybuilding-ish. They often look normal, soft, but vibrant. You could feel it. You guys get in touch with your intuition. You can sense somebody's energy, their vitality, their power is oozing through their fucking pores. Anyway, physiologically, someone who is damaged, someone who, who is suffering physiologically, you'll see it in the glimmer in their eye. They'll be all dull in their eyes and their breath will stink and they'll look like they're pregnant even though there's not much body fat. Now, physiologically, that particular area is associated with all of your organs. But the one we're gonna focus on right now, because it's the one that you could probably do something about right away, any organ inflammation, by the way, any organ inflammation within your abdominal cavity is gonna create what's called viscerosomatic inhibition. I've talked about this before. But this is basically where your physiology, your, your organ systems, your organs, an organ, is inflamed, it's pissed off. And it could be in, inflamed and pissed off for a number of reasons. I had a client who had a protruding belly, I'm not telling you this to scare you, but he had a protruding belly, and we trained and we trained and we trained and he ate well. One day he goes to the doctor and found out that he had pancreatic cancer. 
the pancreas was swollen the entire time. We couldn't figure out why his belly was protruding, but the minute he came to me one day and said, Elliot, I have six months to live. You know, by the way, he's, he's dead now. I have six months to live. I discovered that I have pancreatic cancer. In my mind, you know, being a coach and a body scientist, the first thing I thought was, that's why your abs won't go down. Because of the inflammation associated with the organ, right? And you also had bad breath. But the guy took good care of himself and he was physically strong. He had bad breath, pancreatic, and, and, and a big belly, pancreatic cancer. It just, it all clicked to me at that point. Now you're walking around here, you, you're in good shape, but you've got this protruding belly. I'm telling you right now, mark my words, there is organ inflammation. The one that we'll focus on, the one that we'll consider, because like I said, it's, hopefully it's not something any worse than what I'll offer you, but it's also something you can do something right about, right away about, is the inflammation of your colon, your gut lining, right? If you're eating food that irritates your gut, your, your, your digestive system, it also creates a situation where there's viscerosomatic inhibition. Did I describe what that means yet? That basically means we're, right, I'm, I'm going, walking, talking in circles, basically where the organ shuts down the muscle associated with it. They're on the same neurological loop. If there is a muscle on the same neurological loop, just think about it as a, a, like electricity, right? It's an electrical loop, neurological loop. If one shuts off, the other one shuts off, right? You flip a switch, the light goes out. Flip the switch, light goes out. So you flip the switch by having a inflamed organ, the musculature associated with it, bye-bye, it, it turns off. So if you're eating foods that do that to your colon, to your gut, to your digestive system in any regard, those muscles which are linked to the colon, also happen to be your transverse system abdominis and your pelvic floor, will not work. So do you fart a lot? That's one of the first questions I would ask with regard to the, your digestive system being inflamed, causing viscerosomatic inhibition, whereby you look like you have abs but you're pregnant. Do you have, do you fart a lot? Do, are you constipated? That's a big one, dude. If you haven't taken a shit in four days, then the reason why you look like you're pregnant is because you got a shit baby in there. You, you're, you're full of crap, right? Are you constipated? And constipation is relative because just because shit is coming out of your ass doesn't mean you're not impacted, right? I mean, it's just something to consider. How, do you fart a lot? will give you an indication as to whether or not the foods that you're eating are uh, irritating the gut lining and if your farts smell real bad, then there's probably some in impactedness going on there. Um, also, do you have GERD? <laughs> like these people who like, they can't eat anything without having acid reflux and you gotta take pills every time you're going to like, have a sandwich, you know, anything you eat, it's like, oh, it's coming up and you got heartburn, they gotta sit in chairs when they sleep and shit because all the acid is leaking up out of their mouth. You got a fucked up digestive system. Hey, guess what? It's due to what you're putting in it. So that's my invitation. My invitation is, and this is why, you know, I've spent a lot of time studying nutrition. A lot of you guys, you know, you don't trust my nutrition. You know what, you're right, don't trust my bodybuilding nutrition because I've never used food to manipulate the way I look until now, I'm kind of playing with it. But I spent a lot of time studying the physiological responses, especially within your digestive system and your hormonal system, to foods and food allergens, right? And that's usually one of, the, one of the things is that you're probably eating foods that you're allergic to or intolerant to. Gluten would be the first one that I would try to eliminate. Gluten is found in, remember brows, like eyebrows, barley, rye, oat, wheat, and spelt. Basically wheat, just get wheat out of your diet. The rest of them, unless you're eating oatmeal every day, get that out, and, uh, and barley, which you know is like beer. But really, get the, get the wheat out of your diet just for a week, give it a shot. I found out that I was gluten intolerant because I was farting all the fucking time. And then I eliminated it and I didn't fart anymore. Bingo, like I didn't need a scientist, I didn't need proof, I didn't need studies to tell me, okay, you stop eating this shit, you stop farting and you, your abs got smaller. This happened to me, this was maybe about 10 years ago. Dairy would be the next one that I would consider. If you're constipated, drink more water. So this is it. This is all physiological strength, guys. This is all stuff that I talk about in my newsletter. This is all stuff that I'm working on an advanced course about so that you can learn more on this shit instead of me just answering your question about having a pregnant abs. So that's it, gentlemen, dude. Take care of your digestive system. Take care of your physiological strength because your neuromuscular system, the way you look on the outside, is a direct reflection of what's going on on the inside. Peace. Yo, Elliot.